Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. Tonight, we are at Riverfront Stadium. This is game one of the National League Division Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. The Cubs won, uh, came in in second place and collected the third seed in the National League. They did not have to play a wild card series, but then again, nobody in the National League had to. So the Cubs are the number three seed. The Cincinnati Reds are the National League West champions. They are the number two seed, and they will host one games one, two, and five here in this NLDS. I think this series is going to be very interesting. Even though the Reds are definitely pro are definitely look like the better team, do not count out this Cubs team. This is going to be a very interesting series. And in my opinion, I think it's going to be the most interesting of the four. But we will see what inside pitch has to say tonight as we begin the second division series of the round. Brian B. is first to join us here at Riverfront Stadium. Of course, he is the Reds fan, so he will be uh, uh, probably giving me instructions on what needs to be done uh, in case of strategy roles or changes of players. So uh, we will go ahead and get we will get a big one here tonight as Jeremy Brooks is now joins us here at the stadium in front of the river. We already had a pretty good game to start the ALDS between the Royals and the Red Sox. Will we have that kind of game tonight? Well, your guess is as good as mine as we get right to it. Starting pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds tonight, their number one starter, Gary Nolan. And he had a heck of a year in 72. 15 wins, 5 losses, a 199 ERA, 90 strikeouts, and 25 walks. We are at Riverfront Stadium, Neutral Park, 117 home runs hit there in 72, minus one to walks. I'll say the park is pretty neutral. It can go either way. Frank Rosenk now joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. So if everybody is set and ready to go, it's time to get this division series underway. The Cubs and the Reds. And uh, who knows what might happen? I have absolutely no clue. Only the dice do. And uh, we're about to get started. So let's begin this division series. Leading off for the Cubs will be the shortstop, Don Kessinger. 274 average, a homer, and 39 RBIs in 72. We're going to use red, white, and white dice. Reds are the home team. There is not an empty seat anywhere in Riverfront Stadium. A lot of people think this is the Reds' best chance to win it all in one of mine in the network. Can they do it? Well, let's go to the first pitch and find out. Nolan, 5-2, that's at the park. Riverfront Stadium, 3-2, and it starts off with a blank. A rare play right off the bat. Rare play, bases empty, 31. Grounded to third base who throws in the dirt, making the first baseman scoop the ball. Resolve play using a range play check for the first baseman to see if he scoops the ball. Well, the first baseman, of course, is Tony Perez. His range is a 2. That is a six. He will not scoop it, and that's going to be an error. Kessinger will make it. The will make it there, and that is going to be an error on Dennis Mankey. He will go ahead and make the error as Perez couldn't scoop it in the dirt. So that is an E five, and the Reds start off with an error uh, in the ball game. D Smith joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. So, we'll re so the Reds start off with an error, not an auspicious start. Next batter for the Cubs, second baseman, Glenn Becker, 270 average, three homers, 43 RBIs. Infield is at double play depth, and nothing on the 16. Becker actually gets the bunt sign, but he's going to swing. Nolan, 6-1 against the righty, it's a blank. Becker, 5-4, and that is a grounder to second base, 2-3-4. Shortstop, Pivot, Concepcion, 0, 1 to 4. They'll get it. Two outs. 4, 6, 3, double play. Kind of erases the error right there. As 
as Beckert hits right into it. And we got two away. And the next batter will be the left fielder, Billy Williams, Hall of Famer. Absolutely. 333 average, 37 homers, 122 RBIs in 72. He was already getting in his declining years, but that was a heck of a season he had. Nolan, 1-4, range play at the park. Riverfront, 1-4. Whoa, that's going to be a home run to center field against the righty. Williams needs a 20. Well, that's really not much to do much with that. As you're not going to get a range play for Bobby Tolan, because unfortunately he can't leap 30 feet in the air. Kaboom! Home run, Billy Williams! And just like that, the Cubs are on the board first. That was a well-hit ball by Williams, not a mistake by Nolan, but that ball traveled into center field, and that one is gone. Home run, Billy Williams. And just like that, the Cubs are on the board first. And now the battle with the first baseman, Jim Hickman. Solid player, 272 average, 17 homers, 64 RBIs. Phoenix Knight and Doug Sessoms joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Nolan with the pitch. 5-3, strikeout 11, that is high. Hickman, a 2-2 two -two that's popped up. In the infield, that would be a pop fly ball to third. Mankey will go ahead and get it. He will make the catch and retire the side. One run, one hit, one error. A solo blast by Billy Williams puts the Cubs on the board first. John Haverly joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Starting pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, their number one starter, Milt Pappas. He had a very good year as well. 17 wins, 7 losses, a 2 7 7 ERA, 80 strikeouts, and 26 walks in 72. So the Cubs got out on the board first, but let's see what the Reds do here. Leading off for the Reds, left fielder, Mr. Pete Rose, Hall of Famer. No. One of the greatest of all time. Yeah. 307 average, 6 homers. 57 RBIs. Put him in the friggin' hall already. Pappas. 4-6. That's blank. Rose. 1-5. That's grounded. Right back to the pitcher. Pappas will go ahead and get it. And toss it over for the out. One down. Second baseman. Joe Morgan. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Absolutely. 292 average. 16 homers. 73 RBIs in 72. Pappas. 4-1 against the lefty walk. That eight will be ball four. He will walk Morgan. And that will be the first walk issued by Pappas. And now the center fielder, Bobby Tolan. Solid player. 283 average, eight homers, 82 RBIs in 72. Infield is a double play. Morgan, of course, was a thief. And he gets the steal sign. I'm pretty sure Brian B would tell me to send him. 15 plus two is 17. The catcher, Randy Hundley, plus one and 18. A one to 18, he is safe. And he is, no problem. Morgan's got the speed, and he will go to second base. And that'll be a stolen base for Morgan. Takes away the double play. And this time, he will stay put. Tolan does get the bunt sign, but he will be swinging. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 4-2, that's blank. Tolan. 1-4. That's a grounder to second base. Getting up with that is Glenn Becker. And he will toss it over for the out. And Morgan goes to third. Two men down. And it will bring up that guy. The catcher. Mr. Johnny Bench. Hall of Famer. Yes. One of the greatest of all time. Yes. And if you want to say he was the greatest catcher in baseball history. Kind of hard to argue. Pappas will pitch to bench. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 19. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 4-3. That's a blank. Bench, 5-6. And it's a ground ball to shortstop. Taken care of there by Kessinger. He will toss it over and retire the side. Nothing across except a walk and a stolen base. 1-0 Cubs after 1. Top of the second, 
Leading off for the Cubs will be the third baseman, Ron Santo, Hall of Famer. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that, actually. don't. They, he's kind of like the forgotten Hall, Hall of Famer for the Cubs. 302 average, 17 homers, 74 RBIs. Nolan will pitch. 4-4, that is a blank. Santo, 6-5, that's a ground out to short. Handled easily there by Dave Concepcion, and he'll toss it over for the out. Next up is the center fielder, Rick Monday, a 249 average, 11 homers, and 42 RBIs. Nolan will go ahead and pitch. Nolan, 1 3, that is a blank. Monday, 6 1, fly ball, center field. And that will be caught by Tolan out there. Two outs. I would like to let you know, Brian B., there is no platoon lineup. Uh, the only one I had an issue with was George Foster. And even though even though Caesar Caesar Geronimo's card is much better against lefties than George Foster is, Foster actually had more at bats against left-handed batters than Geronimo. But I decided to say that since Geronimo had more at bats overall, I will not be platooning anybody for the Reds. It will be the same lineup all the way through, unless of course somebody gets hurt. Here comes the catcher, Randy Hundley, a 218 average and five homers and 30 RBIs. I thought I'd let you know there, Brian. Nolan, 4 1, strikeout 12. That will miss. Hundley, 2 6. It's a ground ball to third, handled by Dennis Menke. He will get it and toss it over and retire the side. 1 2 3, go the Cubs. A much better inning for Nolan. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Reds is the first baseman, Tony Perez, Hall of Famer. Yeah, 283 average, 21 homers, 90 RBIs in 72. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 1-3 against the righty, strikeout, 18 is high. Perez, 2-3, base hit, right past third. And the Reds get the leadoff man on. That will bring up the third baseman, Dennis Menke, a 233 average, nine homers, 50 RBIs, infield a double play depth. Perez at four stolen bases. And that's a 20, but Pappas has no pickoff rating, so he will concentrate on Menke. Pappas, 4 1 against the righty. Strikeout 12. That's high. Menke, 6 5. That's a fly to right. Jose Cardinal will come in a little bit, and he will get it for the out. And now we'll see the right fielder, Cesar Geronimo, 275 average, four homers, 29 RBIs in 72. And Perez will stay where he is. Geronimo, no, he is not bunting. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 4-4, against the lefty. Home run result against the righty. Geronimo needs an eight. That's a seven. That's good enough for him. Kaboom! Cesar Geronimo! Home run by the Reds. That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep. And that ball is gone. And it just clears the wall out there by maybe about three or four feet. Stadium cheers. Yay! And the Reds take a two-to-one lead of a, so, on a on a two-run homer by Geronimo, his first hit, his first post uh, home run of the of the postseason. Got to get out of the mouth. Next batter is the shortstop, Dave Concepcion, two oh nine average, two homers, twenty nine RBIs. Still only one out in the bottom of the second. The Reds now lead two to one. Pappas. 4-4 four, four against the righty. Strikeout. That's a three. Swing and a miss. Struck them out. First K for Pappas. Two away. And now that will bring up the pitcher, Gary Nolan. He had a 117 average and two RBIs in 72. As Lobster Johnson joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. I don't think I've ever had you in the chat, sir. Welcome to the network. Pappas with the pitch. 4-3, that is a blank. Nolan, 2-4, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that will end the inning. Two runs, two hits, a two-run homer by Geronimo. And the Reds have taken a 2-1 lead here after two.
Top of the third. Leading off for the Cubs will be the right fielder, Jose Cardinal. Solid player. 291 average, 17 homers, and 70 RBIs. This Cubs lineup is not bad. Nolan will go ahead and pitch. Nolan, 2-1, walk, 11. And, yep, just walked him. That is ball four. And now the Cubs get the leadoff man on. It'll bring up the pitcher, Milt Pappas. He had a 191 average. He did have a homer and eight RBIs. Infield is going to play corners in, expecting a bunt. And they don't, the bunt doesn't automatically come up. Milt Pappas' base bunt rating is a two. Uh, but I'm going to let him, I'm going to have him bunt it over here. I'm going to have him bunt. So the bunt is on. Nolan will pitch. 6-6. Six, six. That is a range play. Uh-oh. So Pappas lays down the bunt, and that bunt is hit. That bunt is hit right to the first baseman. He is in, so Pappas's bunt rating becomes a one. That is a 16, and it's bunted too hard. Proceed as you would any ground ball double play. However, it's a range play for Tony Perez. Now, on a range play with him in, Fielder playing in, bunt rating minus one. I don't think the range, the range is actually improved. On a bunt depth, the range, if he's in, the range is actually improved. So it becomes a plus two is what it is. I don't get many range plays on a bunt. So in this case, uh, Tony Perez's range is a four when he's trying to field the bunt. And he's got it. And that's bunted too hard. So now you proceed as you would any ground ball double play. So now zero, one. And, the cor and of course, they're not getting the pivot with the corners. Okay. The uh, shortstop pivot is going to be Concepcion as a zero. So the only way they turn a double play here is on a one. That is a three. So Cardinal actually has still has very good speed. He's going to beat that. So the only play they still had was the first. That will be a successful sacrifice anyway. As a sacrifice hit the third, the first base, and Cardinal will make second. Because Cardinal had very good speed, and that is a three. And he wasn't really being held on because the infield was in. The corners were in. So Cardinal does make third. And the throw is to, to, to Gary Nolan covering, and that will be out number one. And that is how I'm going to play it. So runner on. So the sacrifice works. The batter now is Kessinger. Kessinger 0 for 1, but reached on an error. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 19. Cardinal will stay put. Nolan, 5-1. That's at the park. Riverfront, 5-2. Ground ball to short. That's it to Concepcion. He'll take it. The throw goes to first for the out. Cardinal does make third. So the runner does go over to third base on the on the grounder. It'll bring up Beckert. And Beckert is 0 for 1. Jimmy Jam joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. 2-1 Reds, top of the third couple of home runs already in the game, a solo shot by Billy Williams, and a two-run shot by Cesar Geronimo. Strategy roll, and nothing on the 19. Nolan, 1-5, that is a blank. Beckert, 2-2, two -two. that's a power hit to right field. That is a nine, and against a righty, that's going to be a double, and this game is tied. Cardinal will come in. He will score. We're tied at two. Beckert goes ahead and comes through with a big RBI double, scoring a run. He will hold at second base. And now the batter is Williams. Williams had a bomb his first time up. You thought the other Chicago team would be in the playoffs. So did I. But sometimes you do get those outliers and fast score, and that's why I like using the system. You get a few surprises. Strategy roll. Nothing on. That is a two, but Beckard staying put. Nolan. Nolan, 6-4. That is a blank. Williams, 1-3. Base hit. Right past first. That's a single. 
Becker will come around from second. He will score. Cubs retake the lead three to two. Stadium groans. <sighs> Williams now two for two. A home run and now an RBI single. As coming home, of course, is Becker. He has the speed with two outs. And now it's three to two Cubs. And now the batter is Hickman. Ryan Sullivan joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Williams on it first. Still two outs, top of the third. Game going back and forth already. Nothing on the 11. Nolan, 6-2. Strikeout for swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that will retire the side. That's the first K for Nolan. But the Cubs get two runs, two hits, a sacrifice hit, and a walk. And the Cubs have retaken the lead. It's 3-2. to two. No problem there, Mr. Sullivan. Good to have you here. Top of the order for the Reds. Here comes Mr. Peter Rose. He's 0 for 1. Pappas will go ahead and pitch. Pappas, 1-2. Home run chance. Switch left. 1-15. to 15. The 16 is one to, I'm sorry, switch left, 1-20, to 20, the 16 is good. Against the righty, Rose needs a 5. No, he won't get it. 4-4, four, four, but he does lay a base hit, and that's going to get past first base. Rose will get the single. Base hit for Rose. And now here's Morgan. Morgan walked his first time up, infield double play. Rose had 10 stolen bases, not going anywhere. Pappas, 5-2. That's a blank. Not tired. Morgan, 4-3. Power hit to center field. That's an 8. And against the righty, it's a base hit. Rose, base runner 4. Hit to center field, minus 1. 1-3. One Rose will get the third. He won't. The throw comes in fast, and Rose will hold it second base. Something tells me this game is going to go back and forth. Here comes Tolan. Dolan is 0 for 1. Still nobody out in the bottom of the third. 3 to 2 Cubs. Two pitchers here with a combined ERA of 4.6. And we already have five runs in the game. Strategy. Nothing on the 15. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 6 5. That's a blank. Tolan, 5 2. Base hit. Center field. A single for Tolan. Will it score Rose? Base runner four, single, single to center, plus two is a six. There won't be a throw. The game is tied. Morgan, base runner four, single to center, minus one. A one to three. He'll get to third, and he will. Morgan goes to third, tolling a base hit. We're tied at three. Stadium cheers. Yay! This is going to be one of those games. Here comes Mr. Bench. Bench is 0 for 1. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Runners at the corners. Infield is in. And nothing happening there. Morgan on at third. Tolan on at first. Pappas trying to get out of this. The Cubs are going back and forth with the Reds in this first game of the NLDS. Pappas. 5-2. That's a blank. He's not tired. Bench. 6-6. Six, six, and yep, that's a base hit right past short. And the Reds retake the lead. Tolan, a base running rating of 4 will not be fast enough. He'll hold it second and the Reds retake the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Stadium cheers. Yay! And Pappas can't get anybody out. And now the batter is Perez. Perez is one for one with a base hit. Infield is now back to double play. Reds now have a 4-3 lead. Looks like pitching is going to take the night off between these two. Strategy. Nothing on the eight. Pappas will go ahead and he will pitch. Pappas. 4-4 four, four against the righty. Strikeout two. Swing and a miss. Struck them out. Third strikeout for Pappas. One down. Batter now is Menke. 
Menke is 0 for 1. Tolan on it second. Bench on it first. Strategy. Nothing on the 17. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 4-3. That is a blank. Menke, 6-1. And against the righty, it's a grounder right back to the pitcher. So 2-3, but minus one hit back to the pitcher, so it's a 2. Let's see. Righty is the second base pivot, and that is Becker. He's a minus one pivot. So only a 1. It's a double play. Nope. Tolan will get to third. Bench will be thrown out at second. He was being held. Mankey will make the first, and that's two outs. So fielder's choice there. And now two away for Geronimo. And he got a bomb his first time up. Doug Hunt joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Four to three Reds here. Bottom of the third. Already seven runs in this game. Who knows how this series is going to go. Nothing on the strat. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 6-4. That's a blank. Geronimo, 6-6. Six, six. It's a power hit to left field. That's a nine. And Geronimo is going to come through with a double to left. Tolan will score. Mankey with two outs. Base runner, three. Double to left to zero. A one to three. He will score. No, he holds a third. Geronimo goes to second. It's five to three Reds. Stadium cheers. Yay. And now the batter is Concepcion. And he's 0 for 1. Now a 5 3 Reds lead here. Runners at second and third. And they are going to. Do you walk Concepcion and pitch to Nolan? I don't think so. I think you, I, I don't think you do that. I think you, I think you pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing on the four. Mankey stays put. So does Geronimo. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, one three against the righty. Strikeout seven. Got him anyway. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. Three runs. Five hits. A couple of runners stranded, but the Reds retake the lead. It's 5-3. to three. I was expecting a pitcher's duel between these two. An inside pitch said, nope, you're not getting that tonight. We go to the top of the fourth. Leading off for the Cubs will be Ron Santo. He's 0-1. for 1. Yeah, Cubs have some work to do, but they're very. That, this lineup is very capable. Nolan, 6-1 against the righty. It's a blank. Santo, 5-3. Fly ball to left. And Mr. Rose is going to get to it and make the catch. One down. Here comes Monday. Monday is 0-1. for 1. Nolan, 3-5. Range play. Monday, 3-1. Ground ball to shortstop. That's it to Dave Concepcion. His range is a three. That's a five. It'll get past him. It'll be a single for Monday. Monday hits it past Concepcion. It'll now bring up Hundley. Hundley is 0 for 1. Infield double play. Monday at 12 stolen bases, and he will stay where he is. Nolan with the pitch. Nolan, 4-5 against the righty. It's a blank. Hundley. 5-4, and that is a grounder to second base. 3-4-5. Shortstop, Concepcion 0, 1-5, to five, double play. They got it, side retired. 4-6-3, double play, no runs and a hit for the Cubs. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. As PFLQR joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Leading off for the Reds will be the pitcher, Gary Nolan. He's 0 for 1. Reds lead 5-3. Pappas with the deal. Pappas, 5-3 against the righty. Strikeout plus 10. I really don't even have to look. I know that's a K. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's out number one. Fifth strikeout for Pappas. It will now bring up Mr. Rose. He's 1 for 2. 
Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 6-6, six, six, against a switch, a switch left, walk, 8, and that is ball 4, he'll walk Rose. That's the second walk issued by Pappas. It'll bring up Morgan, top of the lineup for the Reds, has been doing the damage here, infield double play. Rose, and he does not get the steal sign. The hidden run is available, though. The hidden run is available. Um, let's see. Hit and run's available. Question is, do you want hit and run is available there, Brian? Do you want to try it? It's not good. He doesn't have much. Morgan does not strike out much. Jim Cuddle joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. Brian B says no. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 5-1, blank. Morgan, 3-1. That's a ground ball to first base. 1-2-2. Shortstop, pivot, Kessinger, zero, one to two, double play. No. The only play was first baseman was uh, Hickman. He'll take it himself. Knew that Rose was not going to get there, was not going to get a play on Rose. Morgan is tagged out. That's out number two. But the runner does move on, does advance. And now the batter is Tolan. Tolan is one for two. Strat. Nothing on the three. Rose stays where he is. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 5-4. That's at the park. Riverfront, 5-3. And it's a single plus double to right field. Rose is going to come around. He will score. Tolan has to try for second. Base runner, four. Right fielder, Cardinal, minus one. One to three. Tolan makes second base. It's a six. Here comes a throw from Cardinal. A one to four. Tolan is out. And he is. Side retired, but the run counts. So that is a base hit for Bobby Tolan. But he is thrown out by Jose Cardinal at second base trying to stretch. But the run does score. And the Reds have a 6-3 lead. So one run on one hit and a walk. And the Reds are taking on the Cubs so far here after four. Still a long way to go. Speaking of, speaking of the man, here is Jose Cardinal. And he will lead off. And he got he walked his first time up. 6-3 Reds. Now in the top of the fifth, I should say. Top of the fifth inning. Nolan. 3-3. Three, three, hit by pitch. Nope. The 11 is high. Cardinal. 2-6. That's a grounder to second base. Handled by Morgan. And he will toss it over for the out. One down. My name is Mud. Joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. It'll bring up the pitcher, Pappas. Pappas is 0 for 1. Nolan with the pitch. Nolan. 5-1. That's at the park. Riverfront Stadium. 6-2. And that's a that is a ground and a third. Handled easily there by Dennis Mankey. And we'll go over for the out. Two down. Next batter is Kessinger. Kessinger is 0 for 2. Reached on an error. 6-3 Reds, top of the fifth inning. Nolan with the pitch. 2-1, walk, 8, ball 4. He will walk Kessinger on that and keeps the inning alive. That is the second walk issued by Nolan. It will allow Becker to chance, and he's 1-2 for two with a double. Kessinger at 8 stolen bases, and he will not get any here. Nolan will pitch. Nolan, 5-4, home run chance, righty, 1-5, 17 is too high. Becker, 3-5, it's a power hit to center field, that's a 7, and against a righty, that's going to be a double to center field. Well, they're really hitting power hits today, double to center with two outs, Kessinger base runner, 4, double to center, Plus one, a one to five. Kessinger will score, and he will easily. He will easily. Becker thinking about going to third. The base running rating is a three, but he'll hold at second base. The Cubs get a run. 
on an RBI double by Becker. That's his second double of the game. It's now six to four. With the tying run coming up to the plate in Williams. He's two for two, a home run and a single. Six four here, top of the fifth. Like I said, I thought it was going to get a pitcher's duel, and I'm getting anything but. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 15. Beckert stays at second. Nolan will deal. Nolan, 6-5, walk. Eight. No, that's too high. Williams, 4-3, and that is a grounder to third base. That'll get taken care of by Menke. He's going to throw to first to get Williams, and the inning is over. One run, one hit. And a walk. Ten runs already in the ball game. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Mr. Johnny Bench will lead off. He is one for two with a single. Pappas has given up six runs. Uh, they're going to keep him in there, though. This is 1972, not 2024. Pappas with the pitch. If he gives up another run, I'll yank him. 2-5, that's a blank. Bench, 6-5. Fly ball, the left field. Billy Williams will come under it and get it for the out. One down here is Perez. Perez is one for two with a single. Pappas, 6-4. Blank. Perez, 6-5, base hit. He'll slap that one into left. Line drive to left, and that will be taken care of there by uh, Williams, and that will be a single for Perez. That's his second hit of the game. And here's Menke. Menke is 0 for 2. Infield double play. Perez had four stolen bases, and he will not get any here. And Menke does not get the hit and run. Will swing away. Pappas with the pitch. Pappas, 1-5, range play at the park. Riverfront, 6-5. It's a fly ball hit the center field. Going after that is Rick Monday. His range is a three. He's got it. Two outs. Perez will have to go back to first on a heck of a play by Rick Monday out there. And now two away, and here comes Geronimo. He's having he has a home run and a double in the ball game already. Two outs. Perez on it first. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 11. Perez stays where he is. Pappas, 5-4. That's at the park. Riverfront. 3-5. And that's grounded right at the plate. That'll be get picked up by Hunley. He'll go ahead, get it, and throw to first. And the inning is over. No runs and a hit. Stops the Reds' run streak of three straight innings. It is six to four after five. We go to the top of the sixth. Billingham, Grimsley, and who just start? Who's the fourth starter? Uh, you happen to be wrong, Brian B. You are wrong. Grimsley and Billingham. Is the, th is the three and the four. The number two starter is Gullet. I did allow Gullet to start. He will, Gullet will be the second starter for the Reds. But Billingham and Grimsley are correct, Don. But I have Don Gullet. He will be the second starter for the Reds. I don't think you'll have a problem with that. Top of the sixth, 6-4. Six, In favor of the Reds, Jim Hickman leads off for the Chai Cubs. And he's 0 for 2. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium enjoying the scoreboard, but still a lot, still a long way to go. Nolan, 1-1, one, one, possible error. Hickman, 1-1, one, one, ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Dennis Mankey. His error rating is an eight. That's a three right through the wickets. It goes into the outfield, and Hickman's going to be safe at first. That is going to be the second error on Dennis Mankey. And the second error on the Reds overall. So Mankey makes another error at third. And now the batter is Santo. Santo is 0 for 2. You kind of think he is due. Double play depth is called. 
That is a two. Hickman not going anywhere. Uh, the hit and runs available. Uh, but because Santo has home run power, he is not doing that. Hickman will hold at first base. Nolan will pitch. Nolan, 6-1 against the righty. It's a blank. Santo, 6-6. Six, six, and it's a grounder to short. 3-4-5. Second base pivot. Morgan, 0. 1-5. It's a double play. Two outs. Another twin killing, a twin killing hit in due by Santo. And now two away. Here comes Monday. That's this that is that is the third double play the Cubs have hit into. And now Nolan will pitch to Monday. Monday is one for two. Nolan, 6-6, six, six, range play. Monday, 2-3. Ground ball to third base. That ball is hit to Mankey. His range is a three. That is a four. And that's going to be a single for Monday. So that that double play is huge as it cleared the bases. But Monday is going to get his second hit of the game and keep it alive. And a chance now for Hundley. Hundley is 0 for 2. Monday on it first. Nothing on the 17. Hundley is going to swing away. Nolan will pitch. Nolan, 5-6, strike out, 9, swing and a miss, struck him out, and the inning is over. And that is the second strikeout for Nolan. No runs, one hit, one error, but the Cubs are unable to do anything with it. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Leading off for the Reds will be Dave Concepcion. He is 0 for 2. He struck out twice. Pappas, he can pitch to three more batters before he tires. Nolan also can pitch to three more batters before he tires. And I think that may be the end for both of these pitchers as they are due to bat. Um, as they are due to bat actually coming up. We'll see what he wants to do with Nolan. Pappas. Three, four, walk, four. That's ball four. He walks Concepcion. A leadoff walk by Pappas. That's the third base on balls. Now the batter is the pitcher. What do you want to do, Brian B? Nolan is your next batter. So what do you want to do here? He says, says Javier. Um, let's see here. Javier. Um. I don't have – Javier did not make the playoff roster, Brian B. You have to give me another cho another choice here. Javier did not have enough at-bats to make the playoff roster, so he is not there. So you need to make another choice. I go by at-bats is how I chose the playoff roster. Some players did not get on the, on the roster. Javier was not one of them. So you have to make – Haig, he did. Haig did, though. That'll be it for Gary Nolan as he will come out of the game. And coming on to pinch it for the Reds is going to be Joe Haig, a two forty three average, 7 homers, 31 RBIs. Infield is at double play depth. Reds lead 6-4 here. Bottom of the sixth inning. That is a two. Concepcion got the steal sign. 14 plus two, 16. Hundley plus one is 17. I'm pretty sure you're sending them. What do you want to do? Am I sending a 17, a 1 to 17? Concepcion on his way. The throw down to second. He's out of there. What a throw by Randy Hundley. A 1 to 17. That's a 19, and he is out. Evil D20 strikes again. One down. Stadium groans. Good. And now Haig will bat with the bases empty. Pappas will pitch. Pappas, 2-3. That is a blank. Haig, 1-1. One, one. And that is a grounder to third base. Grounder, yep, grounder to third. That will be handled by Santo. The throw goes over to first for out number two. What a throw by Randy Hundley as he got him. And now the batter is Rose. Rose is one for two, a single and a walk. 
and I'm sure Brian B. can't believe it, and neither can I. Pappas will pitch to Rose. Pappas, 6-6, six, six, a switch left walk, 20 is high. Rose, 4-5, and against the righty, it's a ground ball, the second base. And Beckert's going to go ahead and get that, toss it over, and retire the side. Nothing across except the walk and a caught stealing. After six, it's six to four in favor of the Reds. Rest in peace. Oh, Jim McAndrew just passed away? Oh, I did not know that. One of the unsung heroes of the 1969 Mets, Jim McAndrew. We go to the top of the seven. Reds lead 6-4. Brian B. says Pedro Borbon, and that's who's going to come out the pitch. Eight wins, three losses, 11 saves, a 3-1-7 ERA. Borbon will come on the pitch. Leading off for the Cubs will be Jose Cardinal. He is 0-1 for 1 with a walk. 6-4 Reds, top of the seven. I thought, if, I thought we would get a pitcher's duel, but we're not getting that. Borbon, 5-2, hit by pitch, 16 is high, Cardinal, 2-2, two -two. line out right back to the pitcher, Borbon puts his glove in front of his face, and he makes the grab. If Borbon doesn't do that, Borbon might have a broken nose. Pappas is coming out of the game, Cubs will take him out, so he will leave with the loss. And we'll see who the Cubs are going to bring on to bat. And it is going to be Joe Pepitone. 262 average, 8 homers, 21 RBIs. So one out. Borbone will now pitch to Pepitone. Borbone, 2-2, two -two, walk, 7. Nope, that is high. Pepitone, 4-1, and it's fly to right field. Getting there will be Geronimo. He'll make the catch for out number 2. Next up is Kessinger. Kessinger is, he is 0 for, 0 for 2, reached on an error and walked. Two down, Borbone with the pitch. Borbone, 5 1, error on a grounder. Kessinger, 3 2, base hit, right field, single. Right fielder is Geronimo. His ever rating is a 4. That's a 14. He'll collect it with no problem and throw it in. So Kessinger keeps the inning alive. And now the batter is Becker. Becker, two for three, two doubles. Kessinger, he will stay where he is. Borbone will go ahead and pitch to Becker. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium hoping for a good pitch. Borbone, 1-1, one, one, possible error. Becker, 2-3. And that's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to second base. That ball is picked up by Joe Morgan. Beckert's base running rating is a three. The throw to first. He's safe. Infield single for Glenn Beckert as Joe Morgan picked it up. But Beckert beats out the throw. And now here comes Billy Williams. Williams is two for three. He has a single and a bomb. With one swing and a bat, he could put the Cubs ahead. Or Bones got to be careful with him. Fans here, Riverfront. Kessinger on at second, Beckert on at first. Bourbon will pitch to Williams. Fans here, Riverfront Stadium, hoping for a good pitch. Strategy. Nothing on the 12. Borbone will pitch to Williams. Borbone, 1 5. It's a blank. Williams, 5 3. And it's a fly ball to center field. And Bobby Tolan's going to come under that and get it. He'll make the catch and retire the side. No runs, two hits. A chance for the Cubs goes by the board. And Brian B. asking me, uh, it is McCra it is um, Haig, Foster, Plummer, Ulander, McCray, and Cheney. That is correct. They are the ones that actually made the team for the batters. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back.
postseason action here on RJL Network continues tomorrow night in the in this in the division series round. Tomorrow night it'll be game one of the other National League division series. The Houston Astros taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Don Wilson will be going for the Astros, and Steve Blass will be going for the Pirates. And yes, Roberto Clemente is alive and well. He did not pass away until December of this year of 72. He is on the team, of course. So we begin the other NLDS tomorrow night. The Astros and the Pirates at Three Rivers Stadium. Wilson and Blast. That'll be tomorrow night on the network. Bottom of the 17th, or Reds a 6-4 lead. Joe Morgan leads off for the Reds. Cubs need a pitcher. They got two lefties and a righty coming up. Now let's see who the Reds or the Cubs want to bring on to pitch. And it is going to be Coming on to pitch for the Cubs. The weakness in the Cubs actually may be the bullpen. It's not that great. Coming on to pitch for the Cubs will be Dan McGinn. No wins, five losses, four saves, a 5 8 9 ERA, but he's the main left hander in the bullpen. So Dan McGinn will come on and pitch for the Cubs. Joe Morgan leads off here in the bottom of the seven. 6 4 Reds. McGinn. 4-2 against the lefty. That's a walk plus 10, and that's an easy ball four for Morgan. Morgan draws the walk. Again, I bring in a relief pitcher, and the first thing he does is walk. I walk the batter, and here comes Tolan. Tolan, two for three. He's got two singles. Infield is at double play depth. Strategy rolls are still on. Morgan not going anywhere. McGinn with the pitch. McGinn, 1-1. Strikeout, 16. That is high. Tolan, 3-4, it's a grounder to second base, 2-1-2, two, two. shortstop, pivot, Kessinger, 0-1-2, they got it, two outs, Tolan grounds out into the 4-6-3, for a minute there, it looked like the Reds might have had something going on, but that will be a double play, and now the batter is Mr. Bench, Bench is 1-3, McGinn will pitch the bench. McGinn, 2-1, wild pitch, ball one. 3-5, strikeout, 17 is high. Bench, 4-1, and that's grounded to third base. Santo will go ahead and get it. He'll throw it over and retire the side. Nothing across except the walk, but the Reds have a 6-4 lead here after seven. We go to the top of the eighth. Barbone can still pitch to three more batters before he's tired. And leading off for the Cubs is going to be Jim Hickman. He is 0 for 3, but reached on an error his last time up. 6-4, favor of the Reds. Fans at Riverfront Stadium, game one of this NLDS. Barbone will pitch. Borbone, 2-6, that's at the park. Riverfront Stadium, 1-4. Home run to center field against the righty. Hickman needs a 20. Well, that's a 7. And that ball may have wound up, I think, possibly in the upper deck. Because that one was hit pretty high, hit pretty deep, and hit pretty gone. Kaboom! Solo home run, Jim Hickman. The Cubs are within one. Hickman gets his first home run of the postseason. It's now 6-5. to five. And that was a good pitch by Borbone. Riverfront just sent it out of here. Now the batter is Santo. And Santo is 0-3, and you kind of think he's due as well. 6-5, to five, top of the eighth. Borbone will pitch to Santo here. Borbone, 6-4. That's a range play. Santo, 6-6. Six, six. Ground ball to shortstop. That's it to Concepcion. His range is a 3. That's a 5. It's a base hit. The tying run is on. Santo gets his first hit of the postseason. 
And the batter now is Monday. Monday is two for three. He's got two singles. Infield is at double play depth. Santo on it first. He had one stolen base. Strategy roll. That is a three. Santo stays put. And Monday will swing. Four bones sets up against Monday. Could be a game of the year candidate. I think if the Cubs tie it or something like that, I'll mark it as one. Santo on it first. Bourbon will go ahead and pitch. Bourbon, 6-3. Strikeout, 10. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's a strikeout for Bourbon, but now he is tired. What does Brian B. want to do? The next batter for the Cubs is Hundley. And do they, do they want to make a, do they want to do anything here? I think not. I'll keep Hundley in. Brian B. says let him pitch. Okay. One out here. Santa won at first. It's now 6-5. to five. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Bourbon fires to first base. No. Santo will get back. Now Bourbon will pitch to Hundley. Fans at Riverfront. Got to be careful. Hoping that Bourbon can still make a good pitch. Bourbon. 1-1. One, one. Possible error. Hundley, 1-6. It's a fly ball hit to left field. That's it to Pete Rose. His error rating is a 1. That's a 16. He'll make the catch. Out number 2. Two down now. And the next batter is Cardinal. Cardinal is 0 for 2 with a walk. Santo on it first. And he'll stay at first. Bourbon will pitch to Cardinal. Bourbon. 5-2, hit by pitch, 20 is high. Cardinal, 6-1, and that's a fly out to center field. And Bobby Tolan will go ahead and get it. He'll make the catch and retire the side. One run, two hits, a solo bomb by Jim Hickman. Game is not over as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Leading off for the Reds will be Tony Perez. And they've got right, right, left. That's going to be it for Dan McGinn as the Cubs will go to the bullpen. And they're going to bring out their best pitcher in the bullpen, and that is Jack Aker. He's their closer. Six wins, six losses, 17 saves, a 296 ERA. Jack Aker will now come on to pitch and try to keep this game where it is as the Reds looking for insurance. Six to five, bottom of the eighth, game one of this NLDS. Aker, one, two, range play. Perez, three, one against the righty. It's a fly ball hit the right field. Going after that is Jose Cardinal. His range is a two. Nope. And that's going to be a single for Perez. He gets a base hit. Perez now three for four. And now the batter is Menke. Menke is 0 for 3. Infield is at double play depth. Perez at four stolen bases. Strategy roll. That is a 2. Nothing happening. The hidden run is available. I don't think you do that here, Brian B. Hidden runs available. Do you do that? Do you do a hidden run, Brian B.? what I thought. Aker will pitch. Aker, 4-2, strikeout, 7, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good thing he didn't do it. One out. And now the batter is Geronimo. Geronimo, 2 for 3, a home run and a double. Perez stays put. Aker, he'll go ahead and pitch. Aker, 6-3, range play at the park. Riverfront, 1-4, home run to center field against the righty. Geronimo needs an 8. This time he won't get it. That's a 9, but now it's a range play to center field. And going after it is Rick Monday. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Oh, his range is a 3. He leaps. Nope, that's going to be a dot. He won't make it, and that is an automatic double. That is a double to center field. Perez, base runner two. 
Double the center plus one. A one to three. Perez will score. It's a six. Perez gets the third. Geronimo goes to second. Perez coming around third. Monday, a zero arm. A one to three. There could be a play. Know that Perez puts on the brakes and heads back to third. And now runners at second and third and one out. The batter now is Concepcion. The infield is going to be brought in. Concepcion is 0 for 2 with a walk. And I think in this case, Brian B., I think you pinch it for Concepcion. I think you, with, they're in the bottom of the eighth inning. I think you would bring in Hal McRae and let Daryl Chaney take over at short. What do you think? You need to get these insurance runs in, but I'll let you make the call. What do you think? No, let him hit. Okay. Concepcion will go ahead, and he will bat. Runners at second and third. Infield is now in. One out, but the Reds a chance to get some big insurance. Maybe you're saving him for the pitcher. I think you're probably saving him for the pitcher, I guess. Eight, eight, that's a 13. Nothing happening. Aker will go ahead, and he will pitch. Aker, 4-5, walk, 13, that's high. Concepcion, 3-3, three, three, and against the righty, it's a fly ball to center field. Now, that's going to be caught by Monday. That's out number two. Concepcion, very good at sacrifice flies. A sacrifice fly of three. No, he doesn't bring him in that way. Perez, a base runner, two. Monday, a zero arm. A one to two, Perez will still score. No! Two outs. Wow, could not bring in the run. Two men down. Now do you bring in McCray for Bourbon? Is that what you do here now? Brian B says Cheney. Okay. So coming on to pinch it. For Bourbon will be Daryl Chaney, a 250 average, two homers, and 19 RBIs. He's going to let Chaney pinch it. And there with two outs, Aker will continue to pitch. So two men down, Reds a 6-5 lead. Perez on at third, Geronimo on at second. Aker will pitch to Cheney. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium will go ahead and he will make a pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing on the seven. Aker. Six five. That is a blank. Cheney. Six one. And it's a fly ball to right field. And Jose Cardinal will go ahead and get it. He will make the catch. And retire the side. Reds a chance to get some runs, but fall a little short. No runs, two hits. After eight, six, five red legs. But will we see some ninth inning magic? Top of the ninth. Coming on to pitch for the Reds. Is going to be Clay Carroll. Six wins, four losses, 37 saves, a 2-2-5 ERA. Bourbon does get credit. Actually, does not get credit for a hold because he did allow a run. But uh, Carroll will come on here and try to get the save. The bottom part of the order, Jack Aker coming out of the game, and the Cubs will go to the will go to the bench. And the bench is not that good. Well, let's see who they're going to bring on to bat here. And it is going to be Carmen Fanzoni. 225 average, 8 homers, 42 RBI. So Carmen Fanzoni will pinch it against Carroll to start the top of the ninth. 6-5 Reds. Reds have a ch three outs away from taking a 1-0 series lead. Carroll will go ahead and he will pitch. Carroll, 3-1, range play at the park, Riverfront, 3-1, ground ball to first, that ball is hit to Tony Perez, his range is a two, nope, it'll get past him, and that's going to be hit down the line and into the corner, and the tying run is at second base, that's a double. Fanzone, Fanzoni hits it right past 
Perez right down the line. That is a double, and the tying run is at second base. And now the batter is Kessinger. Kessinger is one for three. He has a single and a walk. Infield is back. Fanzoni on at second. Strategy roll. Nothing on the eight. Fanzoni will stay where he is. Carroll, he's trying to go ahead and keep this, try to close the game out, but the Cubs are saying not so fast. Carroll will go ahead and pick. Carroll, 4-1. Zach's at the park. Riverfront Stadium, 4-3. It's a power hit to left field. That's an 18, and oh my, that just missed. That's going to be a fly ball to left field. Pete Rose is going to be at the track, at the wall, but he will make the catch. And Fanzoni will stay at second base. Holy cow. A power hit to left field, but that is an 18. And that is Kessinger can't believe it. One out. And now the batter is Becker. Becker having a great night. Three for four, a single and two doubles. Strategy rolls are still on. Nothing on the seven. Fanzoni will stay at second base. Carroll got away with one there. Got to be careful with Becker. Becker, a very good hitter. Carroll will pitch. Carroll, one, four, strikeout, three. That misses. Becker, five, one, and that is a ground ball to second base. That'll get picked up by Joe Morgan. He throws to first, and Fanzoni goes to third, two down. Now the tying run, 90 feet away, and here comes Billy Williams. Williams, two for four, a single and a bomb. Two outs here, top of the ninth inning, six, five Reds. Intentional walk? Really? You'd rather pitch to Hickman? You'd rather pitch to Jim Hickman? I don't think it matters. You'd rather pitch to, are you sure? You want to put the go-ahead run on base? I wouldn't do that. Brian B. says intentionally walk Billy Williams. So he puts the go-ahead run on first base, and the batter will be Jim Hickman. So he intentionally walked Williams, and now here's Hickman. Hickman has a home run. He's one for four, a home run, and reached on an error. And now Fanzoni on at third, Williams on at first, and two outs. Hickman probably feels disrespected. I think he wants to get a big, a big time hit at the plate. Two men down, six, five Reds. But Brian B., however, has done a great job as manager of the Reds in the games I've done with him. So I can't knock his intent. I can't knock his calling. He's usually pretty good. Fanzoni on at third. Williams on at first. Strategy roll. Nothing on the seven. Nobody moving. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium are on their feet. Carroll will set up, and he will pitch. Carroll, 5-2, against the righty, strikeout, 17. That is high. Here comes the pitch. Hickman swings. 6-6, six, six. base hit past third. This game is tied. Hickman hits it right past the third baseman. Fanzoni will come, and he will score. Tie game. Stadium groans. <sighs> Fanzoni comes in. He will score at 6-6. Six to six. Williams does hold at second base on a single pass third. And now the go-ahead run is at second base. And the batter is Santo. RBI single by Jim Hickman. And now the batter is Santo. Santo is one for four. He's got a single. Still two outs. There will be ninth inning magic strikes again. Game of the year candidate, absolutely. Now Williams on at second. Hickman on at first. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium now know they have to go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Williams now at second and Hickman at first. Carroll sets up. He will be tired after Santo. Carroll will go ahead. Strategy roll. 
That's a 20. Carroll fires to second base to get Williams. No, he'll get back. Now Carroll will pitch to Santo. Carroll got to be careful with Santo. He can hit one out as well. Carroll with the pitch. Carroll, 4-2. That's a blank. Santo, 5-4. Base hit. Center field. That's a single to center. With two outs, Williams, base runner, three. Single to center, plus one. A one to four. The Cubs take the lead. The O Cubs take the lead. Williams will score. That is a one. Hickman will go to third. Santo trying for second base. A one or a two. He is safe. Nope. He'll hold it first. Cubs lead it seven to six. Stadium barfs. Blech. Seven to six Cubs. No lead is safe, an inside pitch. And Carroll blows the save. And now the batter is Monday with insurance runs on. And Carroll is tired. And what does Brian B want to do here? I think he got to yank Carroll out. He's tired. A fatigue result will bring in another run. So what is he says, Hall. So let's see. And, I, and that will and coming on to pitch now for the Reds will be Tom Hall. Ten wins, a loss, eight saves, a 2-6-1 ERA. So Pappas is off the hook, and Nolan's going to get a no decision now. And Hall will pitch to Monday. Monday is two for four. He's got two singles. Two men out, top of the night. Now seven to six, Cubs. Hickman on it third. Santa on it first. They walk Billy Williams to pitch to Hickman, and all Hickman did was tie the game. Then Santo comes through and brings in the go-ahead run. Strategy roll. Hall. That is a one, and nobody's moving. No steal. Nothing happening. Hall will go ahead and pitch to Monday. Two men down. Hall, 1-3, walk, 11. Yep, that's ball four. And the bases are full of Cubs. And now the batter is Hundley. Hundley is 0 for 4. And they're gonna let it, they're gonna let him uh, they're gonna let him back. Bases are loaded as Hall walks the leadoff batter. Hundley 0 for 4. Hundley has a little bit of home run power against lefties, but not much. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium were loud only a, uh, only a few outs, a couple of outs ago. This stadium, this stadium is now silent. Hickman on it third. Santo on it first. Monday on it. Santo on it second. Monday on it first. Strategy rolls are still on. And that's a 20. Hall fires the first to get Monday. Got him. Picked him off. Holy cow, we got him. That's a two. We got him. A one to two is a pickoff. That is a two. And he got him. And the inning is over. He picked him off. That was bad. For Rick Monday, he fell asleep. As Tom Hall makes a huge pickoff at first base. To end the inning, but two runs on three hits and two walks. And we now will we see some bottom of the ninth inning magic. Top of the order for the Reds, though, it is Mr. Pete Rose leading off for the Reds in the bottom of the ninth. The Cubs are going to go with their best pitcher in this kind of situation that I have with them. And coming on to pitch for the Cubs. Let's see, switch left, left, really doesn't matter. 
Coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be Joe Decker. One win, no losses, no saves, a 2-1-3 ERA. He only had uh, 12 innings pitched, but it was enough for him to make the postseason roster. Joe Decker getting called upon to get the save. Nobody out. Now starting the bottom of the ninth, 7-6. to six. Joe Decker coming on here to try to get a save here and let's see if the Cubs can steal a victory here against the Reds. Decker with the pitch. Decker, 3-2. Hit by pitch, 5. Nope, that's too high. Rose, 5-3. Base hit, left field. The tying run is on. Rose will get a single. And now the batter is Morgan. Morgan is one for two, a single and two walks. Infield double play. Rose gets a leadoff base hit. Here we go again. Inside pitch loves the ninth inning. Morgan on it at the plate. Rose at first base. Strategy rolls are still on. That's a 15. Decker will continue with it. Decker will pitch to Morgan. Morgan getting ready. Here comes the pitch. Decker. 3-5, strikeout 9, that is high. Morgan, 1-5, and against the righty, it's a ground ball to second base. 1, minus 2, though, negative 1 is 0, so no chance of a double play. So the question is, is who's out? That's a 1. Rose will make it to second base. The only play was the first. Morgan is out at first base, but the tying runs in scoring position. 1 out. Rose had the speed, and he will definitely get to second base, and there is one away, and now the batter is Tolan, Tolan two for four with two singles, Decker trying to get a save here for the Cubs, seven to six, bottom of the ninth, tying run at second base, Decker will set it up for the pitch, strategy, nothing on the eighteen. I don't think you bunt here with Tolan. I think you swing away. Decker will go ahead and he will pitch. Decker, 5-6, strikeout, 17 is high. Tolan, 5-3, it's a power hit to right field. That's an 11, and against the righty, this game is tied. That's a triple. Tolan ties the game a triple into right field. And he'll stop at third. We're tied at seven. Stadium cheers. Yay. The winning run is at ninth, is at third base. And here comes Johnny Bench. The infield is in. Bench is one for four. As Tolan got a, a pure hit. To right field, a big time triple on Decker, and now the winning run is in the winning run. Do you walk bench and pitch to Perez? You know what? That might not. In that case, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, hmm. Do you walk? You know what? Probably you do. But Decker is lousy at double plays, and Tolan's got great speed. Decker has pitched to three batters. Do you walk bench? Ooh, John Haverly, what do you think? I guess because of his run don't mean anything. You know what? I think I think maybe you do here. He doesn't hit righties as well, though, but it doesn't matter. If Decker makes a home run mistake, it's out of here. Uh, ooh. Haverly says walk bench. I think that's what you do. I think you do do that. His run doesn't mean anything. They're going to walk Johnny Bench, and they're going to pitch to Tony Perez. It really doesn't matter. But now, and that may be it for Decker. Let's see what the Cubs want to do here. Decker has pitched to three batters. In this case, he needs something for double play. And they are going to do just that. Joe Decker's going to come out of the game, and coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be Bill Bonham. 
One win, one loss, four saves, a 3-1-2 ERA. Bonzo Bonham's going to come on to pitch. Tolan on at third. The infield is in. It does give a better chance in a double play. So Bill Bonham will come on to pitch against Tony Perez. They walk bench intentionally, which is probably the right thing to do. But Perez is having a great night, though. Three for four. Three singles, one out. Bottom of the ninth inning, tied at seven. What a ball game to start this NLDS. Tolan on at third, bench on at first. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Bottom turns or fires the first base to get bench. No, bench will get back. Now Bonham will go ahead and pitch to Perez. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium are loud. Tolan on at third, bench on at first. Bonham sets up and he will deal. One five, strikeout two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He got Perez two down. And now the batter is Dennis Mankey. Dennis Mankey is 0 for 4. He's made two errors in this game today. If he comes through with a base hit to win the game, I'm pretty sure all is forgiven. Two men down. They'll pitch to Mankey. Bottom will go ahead and deal with him. Fans here at Riverfront hoping Mankey can get it done. We're tied at seven. Free baseball is looming here in this game. Tolan sets up at third. Bench on at first. Strategy. Nothing on the 15. Bottom looking in on Mankey. The fans are loud. Bottom winds up and deals. Four, six. That is a walk plus 10. That's a 13. And now the bases are loaded. And now here comes Cesar Geronimo. Geronimo is also having a great night. He is three for four, two doubles and a bomb. Bonham will pitch to him. Geronimo will hit. Tolan on at third, bench on at second, Menke on at first. Once again, the fans here are set. Bonham cannot walk Geronimo. Fans are loud. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. Tied at seven, game one of this NLDS. Strategy. Nothing on the 12. Bottom lines up, and here comes the pitch. Two, three, against the lefty. It's a blank. Geronimo takes his swing. Six, one, and it's a line drive right to short. Kessinger grabs it. Pow. We've got free baseball. Free baseball, free baseball here. Get your free baseball. One run, two hits, a couple of walks. And we're going into extras tied at seven. No lead is safe at inside pitch. We go to the top of the 10th inning, tied at 7. Tom Hall, he can still pitch to he can still pitch to seven more batters. He's due to bat second. I would think you'd let him pitch. Tom Hall, I think would stay out there. Remember there are no ghost runners at all in the postseason. Leading off for the Cubs will be Randy Hundley. And he was at the plate when Monday was picked off. How big was that? How big was that being picked off? Cubs will probably have the game. Hundley will bat against Hall. Tied at seven. Top of the tenth now. Game one of this NLDS. Hall will pitch. Hall. Five, six. That's a walk plus ten. That 18 is too high. Hundley. Six, four. It's a fly ball to center field. 
Getting after that's going to be Bobby Tolan. He will make the catch. And that is out number one. I thank you very much there, Brian Hoxie. Unfortunately, I'm having issues with uh, monetization. Please do not send me anything. I thank you very much, Brian Hoxie. Thank you, sir. But I'll, I'll, I'll never get that. Here comes Cardinal. Cardinal is 0 for 3 with a walk. One out here. Hall will go ahead and pitch. Hall, 4-1. That's an automatic out. And it's a fly to left. And getting over there will be Pete Rose. He'll make the catch for out number two. Pinch hitter coming in for Bill Bottom as he will leave the game. And the next batter... Pitch hitting is going to be is going to be Paul Popovich. 194 average, a home run, and 11 RBIs. So Hall is on the at pitching here. Top of the tenth inning, tied at seven. Unfortunately, the Cubs are at the bottom of the order. But here comes Paul Popovich against Hall. Two men down. Hall with the pitch. Hall, 3-3, three, three, strikeout 11. That is high. Popovich, 1-4, and that's grounded to third. That'll get handled by Dennis Makey. Takes his time, tosses it over, and he retires the side. Nothing across for the Cubs. We will go to the bottom of the 10th. Actually, I'm sorry, that's a 5. Tom Hall actually has a special K. That's actually a strike. That's actually a strikeout. My bad. That's a K. I keep on forgetting. That's a five. Tom Hall has a special K against um against switch against any. Uh, the five is good as a special K, and that is a strikeout instead. So Hall struck him out instead, but still, it's a one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the tenth. Dave Concepcion. Leads off for the Reds. Cubs need a pitcher. And coming on to pitch for the Cubs. We're in the extra inning, so it can be anybody. Coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be Rick Russell. Ten wins, eight losses, no saves. A 2.93 ERA. Russell will now come on to pitch. He's the six Cubs pitcher. Bottom of the tent, tied at seven. Game one of this NLDS. What did I say? Did I say this was going to be the most interesting series of the bunch? I wasn't kidding. Russia will pitch a Concepcion. Russia, two five, strikeout eight, swing and a miss, struck them out. Strikeout number one, and Concepcion is gone. Uh, who do you want to pinch it for uh, Hall there, Brian B? You got Foster, Plummer, Ulander, or McCray. He says McCray. So Tom Hall coming out of the game and coming on to pinch it for the Reds will be how a young Hal McCray, 278 average, five homers, 26 RBIs in 72. Russia will pitch to McCray. One out, bottom of the tent. Russia with the deal. Russia, 1-1. One, one. Pitcher result, righty. 1-3 to is an out. The 9 is too high. Russia, McCray, 2-1. That's fly to right. And that's going to be Cardinal getting to that. And that will be out number 2. Two outs. Here comes Rose. Rose is 2 for 4. Two singles and a walk. Brian Pedersen finally joins us here at Riverfront Stadium. And, Brian, you don't know what you've been missing. Russell will go ahead here and pitch to Rose. Russell, 5-1. Against the switch left, it's a base hit right past the pitcher. And into center field, Rose will get a single. Rose gets another hit. That's his third. And now the winning run on first base for Joe Morgan. Morgan is one for three, a single and two walks. Rose has got 10 stolen bases. Ten stolen bases here. Strategy roll still on. That's a 12. Rose not going anywhere. Russia will now pitch to Morgan. Two outs, bottom of the 10th. 
Russell, 6 1, strikeout three, swing and a miss, struck him out. And we've got more free baseball. No runs in a hit. Still tied at seven after 10. Yes, Russell does have a pickoff rating. Time for station identification. This is the RJL Network. We go to the top of the 11th inning. Uh, let's see. He's asking me who's in the pen. You got Sprague, McLaughlin, Tomlin, and Simpson. Before you reach the starters, the starters are not available yet. You must have use all relievers before I bring in a starter. Remember us. Remember also, I do not use fatigue. So anybody you use will still be available for the next game. I don't use. I don't have time for fatigue. For fatigue. So, who do you want to bring in there, Brian B. Sprague, McLaughlin, Tomlin, Merritt, or Simpson? Anyone but Tomlin, you pick. They all stink. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, top of the order. So switch right and left. I'm going to go with McLaughlin. Coming on to pitch for the Reds is going to be Jim McLaughlin. Mostly a starter, but he will, but he did make the he did make the roster as a relief pitcher. So Jim McLaughlin will now pitch for the Reds here to start the top of the 11th. He can pitch to nine batters. That's actually pretty helpful. The Cubs have the leadoff batting order. Here comes Don Kessinger. He'll lead off. He is one for four, a single and reached on an error and a walk. As Modine joins us here at Riverfront Stadium for a crazy game. McLaughlin will pitch to Kessinger here. Top of the 11, tied at 7. McLaughlin, 4-6. That's a blank. Kessinger, 5-3. Base hit left field. And the Cubs get the leadoff man on. Kessinger gets a single. And now the batter is Becker. Remember, I do use the three batter rule. Becker is three for five, two doubles and a single. Infield is at double play depth. Kessinger at eight stolen bases. He's not going anywhere. McLaughlin will go ahead and pitch to Becker. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium hoping McLaughlin can keep it going. McLaughlin, 3-1, strikeout nine, that's high. Becker, 6-3, and it's a fly ball to left field. And Pete Rose is going to go ahead and get it, and that's out number one. And now the batter is Williams. Williams is two for four, a home run, a single, and walked. Kessinger on it first. Strategy. That's a 20. McLaughlin's got pickoff rating. He fires the first, and he threw the ball into the dugout, and Kessinger's going to second. That is a six, a pickoff error rating, six to eight. McLaughlin threw it into the dugout, and the go-ahead runners in scoring position 
That is going to be an E1, and that is the third error on the Reds in this game. Kessinger goes here to there, and now Brian B. says intentional walk, and he'll rather pitch to Hickman, who hurt him already in, the, in doing that. So now they intentionally walk Williams to call the double play. And now McLaughlin will pitch to Hickman. Hickman is two for five, a home run, a single, and, an error, and reached on an error. Kessinger on it second, Williams on it first. Hickman's got home run power. If McLaughlin makes a mistake, it's out of here. McLaughlin will set it up. Strategy roll. Nothing on the nine. Kessinger on it second, Williams on it first. One out here, top of the 11th. Game one of this NLDS. McLaughlin will pick. 6-4. That is at the park. Riverfront Stadium. 6-3. And it's a blank. We have a rare play with men on. That could be huge. Remember, injuries are full time. Rare play, men on. 34. If runner on first, single to right field with the runner attempting to go to third on close play. Roll 1d6 versus base runner plus right field arm if higher runner out otherwise safe. Check for injuries or runners at third base. Okay. Now, the only issue I have with that is that Kessinger is on second base. There is a runner on first. Single to right field with the runner attempting to go to third in a close play. Row 1D6 versus base runner plus right fielder arm. If higher, runner out, otherwise safe. Check injuries to runner and third base. Well, if I follow that the way it is, that means Kessinger, since Billy Williams is trying to get to third, that means Kessinger scores. So Kessinger is going to score, and the Cubs will take the lead. Now, roll 1D6 versus base runner and right field arm. If So Williams is a base runner, too. Right fielder is Geronimo. He has a minus one arm. He has a minus one arm. So, Williams, let's see him again here, attempting to go to third in a close play. If higher, runner out. So, and Hickman is on first. He singles. So, Williams, the only way he gets to third is on a one. No, Williams will be out. So, Williams is out. If higher, runner out, otherwise safe, but you got to check injuries to runner and third baseman. So now we got to check for injury. So Billy Williams is the runner, and the third baseman is Dennis Mankey. So we got to check for injuries on a collision, I guess. So let's see what happens here. This is huge. A roll for Williams first. Williams' injury rating is a zero. That's a six. Reroll on one. That's a four. And he is out for the game. So the Cubs just lost Billy Williams for the rest of the game. Now, Dennis Mankey, his injury rating is a two. That's a five. Game plus two D6. And they pretty much just lost Dennis Mankey for the rest of the eight for the of the NLDS. That's the game plus 2d6, which is two, which is one, plus three is four. When something like that happens, I take him out for the rest of the series. The Reds just lost Mankey for the rest of the AL the NLDS. But the run does score. It's eight to seven Cubs. Stadium groans. <sighs> But now I got to see what I can do here. So Kessinger scores. Williams is out. That's the second out. Hickman got a base hit. And now Williams in left field. So Bill North will take over in left field for the Cubs. So they got at least a left fielder to come in. So Bill North will take over in left. So timeout as I fix put him in there. He's not as good at that position. 1-0 minus 1, though. So timeout here on the field for a substitution. So 1-0 minus 1. 
And that's left field. So he's minus one. So he's minus three, zero, minus two. As a better arm, though. So Williams is out for the rest of the game, but he's back. Now Dennis Mankey is third base. And do I have another third baseman available? And yeah, John, well, Johnny Bench is going to have to move Johnny Bench. Do I move him to third or do I move Dave Concepcion to third? I think I got to move Bench to third. Johnny Bench has to move to third base. And I have to bring in Bill Plummer to catch. So Mankey is out, and he's out for the rest of the series. Time out here for a moment. He's out for the rest of the series. So now only another third baseman for the Reds for the rest of the NLDS. So Bill Plummer is going to take over at catcher. And let's see here. So, and Bench is going to have to move to third. And he stinks there, but he's got no choice. So, time, TV timeout for substitutions. So, Plummer will take over at that position. Catcher 318 minus one. Three one eight minus one, and Johnny Bench has to play first base, and he stinks there. He's a one eighteen. That won't be his main position, though. This is just for the game until I can think of something else. But Bench is now at third base with a one eighteen. Does Javier join the roster now? I don't know. I'll look. I'll find out. Anyway, this game continues. Cubs lead 8-7 after a, after a tough range play. And now the batter is Santo. Hickman safe at first. And let's see. Santo is 2 for 5. I don't know yet. We'll see about Javier. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But now a run. But now the Cubs looking for insurance run. So eight to seven, top of the eleventh. Strategy rolls are still on. That's a ten. Nothing happening. Here's Santo. After all is said and done, Santo is now two for five. McLaughlin will pitch. McLaughlin three six strikeout two swing and a miss struck him out as a big K and the inning is over. One run, two hits, one error, and a walk. And the Cubs have an 8-7 to seven lead going into the bottom of the 11th. Rick Russell is going to stay on the mound and try to get the win. Leading off for the Reds, though, is Bobby Tolan. Tolan is three for five tonight, two singles and a triple. Eight to seven, bottom of the eighth. Russia will go ahead and pitch to Tolan. What a game, what a win here this would be for the Cubs if they could hold out. Russia will pitch to Tolan. Russia, 1-1. One, one. That's a pitcher result. Lefty, 1-14, to 14, a single up the middle. That's an 18. He didn't do it. Tolan, 5-5, five, five, but he gets a base hit pass short, and the tying run is on. This game doesn't want to end. Bobby Tolan gets his fourth hit, and now here comes Johnny Bench, who now takes over at third base. Bench is 1-4 for four with a single. Infield is a double play depth, and they're going to pitch the bench. You don't put the go-ahead, you don't put the tying run in scoring position. Let them beat you. Russell will pitch the bench. Strategy roll, Tolan. He gets the steal sign. Do you send him? 
do you send them? 15 plus 2 is 17. Hundley plus 1 would be an 18. Do you send him to second base, Brighton? He says, steal. There he goes. Stolen on his way to second. A 1 to 18. He is safe. And it's a 2. It's a possible error. Hundley's error rating is a 4. And he threw it into the outfield. Tolan goes to third. You got to be kidding me. Stolen base for Tolan, and that's going to be an error on Randy Hundley. And now the go the tying run is at third base. And now the infield is in at the first error on the Cubs. Tolan on at third. Now the now do you walk Johnny Bench? Now do you walk? No, you don't put the winning run on base. Russell's going to go ahead and pitch. Russell will pitch the bench. Infield is in. Russell, they'll go ahead and pitch the bench. Fans here at Riverfront Stadium cannot believe their game they're watching. Strategy roll. Nothing on the four. Tolan stays put. Russell with the pitch. Russell, 1-1. One, one. Pitch a result. Righty. 1-3 to three is an out. The nine is too high. Bunch, 5-1. It's a power hit to center field against the righty. That is a two. It's a base hit. This game is tied. Tolan comes in. He will score. We're tied at eight. Stadium cheers. Yay. RJL Network groans. <sighs> Now the batter is Perez, and now the winning run is at first base with nobody out in the bottom of the 11th inning, and I think we just found our game of the year, but we still got a long way to go. Perez is three for five, three singles, the winning run at second base. Infield is at double play depth. Russia will pitch to Perez. Bench will go ahead. And be at first base. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Russell fires the first. And he throws it away. It's a six. Russell fires it into the dugout. And the winning run is now at second base. Bench goes to second. Another error. That is an E1. And that is the second error on the Cubs here in the 11th inning. Now the walk, Tony Perez. And coming on to bat now will be the new catcher, Bill Plummer. A 186 average, two homers, and nine RBIs. So they'll intentionally walk him now, but the winning run is at second base with nobody out in the bottom of the 11th. Infield is a double play depth. Russell throws the ball away, trying to pick off Bench. Five errors in this game. Nobody out. Bench on it second. Perez on it first. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 17. Russell will pitch. Russell, 5-1 against the righty. Walk. 18 is high. Plummer, 4-1. It's a ground ball to short. 3-3-4. Three, three, second base pivot. Beckert, minus one. One to three. It's a double play. It's a six. The throw will go to first. Bench will go to third. Perez to second, one out. They do not get the double play. But now the winning run is 90 feet away. And here comes Geronimo. Ground ball to short. And Kessinger's only play was the first base. And now runners at second and third. Infield is in. Bench is not a bad runner. Geronimo is three for five. Two doubles and a bomb. And and John Haverly says, welcome, and pitch to Concepcion. You know what? I think you do. They're going to walk Cesar Geronimo and load the bases, and they're going to bring on Dave Concepcion. So another intentional walk. Russell will pitch to him. Bases are loaded. 
Concept, they're going to still keep the, the infield in because Concepcion is a high double play rating. Russell's going to go ahead and pitch to Concepcion. A big chance here. Strategy roll. Nothing on the four. Bases full of reds. Russell will pitch to Concepcion. Fans here, Riverfront Stadium, hoping he can do it. Russell with the pitch. 1-1. One, one. That is a pit. That's a double question mark against the righty. A 1-3 is an automatic out. The 19 is high. Concepcion. 4-4. Four, four. And it's a ground ball right back to Russell. It's a ground ball right back to Russell. So, double play a 3, but hit right to Russell. Hit right back to Russell. Is let me see here is a minus one, but it's a ground ball right back with the infield in, so it's a three, but hit right back to him, so it actually becomes a minus one. So, okay, so it's hit right back to Russell, and here it comes a chance. Bench has to come on to home a one or a two on a one or a two, it's a double play. Three to five benches. It's a fielder's choice. Benches out. This game ends on a six. If it's a six, it was a two hit, a slow hit ball for Russell, and he couldn't get to it. It's hit to Russell, and it is a, it's a six. Unbelievable. It's a six. Russell comes in and charges. He can't get it. Bench will come in to score. That's your game. Reds win it nine to eight. Stadium cheers! Yay, yay! The only way he scores is on a six. It's too slow at a ball. Russell cannot make the play. The only play he would have had was at first. Bench comes in to score. The Reds win it 9-8 to eight in 11 innings. Holy cow. And that actually goes as a, and that will go as an infield single. Two runs on three hits, two walks. What a crazy game this was. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. Final line score coming up, and that's only the first game of this series. For the Reds, nine runs, 17 hits, three errors. For the Cubs, eight runs, 15 hits, two errors, both errors in the 11th inning. The winning pitcher is Jim McLaughlin. He's going to get the win. Rick Russell's going to take the loss. What an unbelievable ball game. Nine to eight Reds, and they'll take a 1 0 series lead. The Cubs, the Reds had a, at one point, the Reds had a five to a six to three lead, and the Cubs scored one in the eighth, two runs in the ninth, and then the Reds scored one in the ninth, and then the Re Cubs scored one in the eleventh, and the Reds scored two in the bottom of the eleventh to win the ball game. If this is not the game of the year, I don't know what is. <sighs> Tomorrow night, game one of the other National League Division Series between the Houston Astros and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Don Wilson will be going for the Astros, and Steve Blass will be going for the Pirates. So far, this we've only played two games of, of the of the DS of the LDS round. 
But we got a long way to go. Unbelievable. Who will win tomorrow night? Wilson and Blast. Astros and Pirates. Game one of that NLDS. Be there or be square. Brian Patterson, Brian B., Jimmy Jam, Brian Hoxie, Mo Dean, Ian Brook of On Deck Baseball. Uh, let's see here. David Vega, John Haverly, Phoenix Knight. Uh, let's see here. Jim, Jim Connell, My Name is Mud, Jimmy Jam, uh, Frank Rosank, PFLQR, Doug Hunt, Doug Sessoms. Ryan Sullivan, Lobster Johnson, D. Smith, and Jeremy Brooks. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. This game definitely deserved it. Subscribe if you're not done so, and make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. This game belongs to the Reds. Walk off in the bottom of the 11th. The Reds win it 9-8. to eight. They lead this National League Division Series one game to none. See you tomorrow.